biggity bounce, biggity bounce, biggity, 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 biggity. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Level Level, man. And I'm here with one of the hot new artists. Sunday. Yo, what's good, man? Right now, at the beautiful battery, you know, looking at the damn baseball field. Atlanta just showing me so much love right now. Facts, man. We over here in Atlanta right now for AC3 Festival, and I'm hearing that you killing this shit, my nigga. I have to. It's, it's, it's imperative that people know what's going on with GMST and Sunday right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, every stage that I get on right now, it's imperative that I destroy it. Well, that's a fact. I mean, and that is what everybody is saying. I mean, it's hard to miss you. I ain't going to lie. You got a super unique swag. I lo- love the hair. Like, I mean, like, give me a little bit of like, a background about that. It's just kind of like you just let it go free for all of us. Like, well, I mean, like, my uncle Rasta, my mom Rasta. So I was really getting. Wait, wait you had Jamaican? Uh, a little more Ethiopian. The original, you know, straight from it, you feel what I'm saying, from from the heart of it, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I was in Baltimore, so, like, the streets was just, like, having my mind on some whole other shit, you feel what I'm saying? So when I decided to, like, take my spirituality more serious and my uncle really started getting to me, like, yo, you can either take your talents and do something great or you can st- get stuck in these streets and just lose it all. I started taking my spirituality serious, and that's when I took my Nazarite. Started locking my head and just never put a comb in it whatsoever. Like, I know people go get locks and all of that, but I, this just came from a bush, like, straight. You here, you here, Sunday the Young King. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's how it go. Yes, all right, so um, let's get into the music, man. So how long you been doing music? Man, I've been doing music for a good 10 strong. 10? Yeah, 10 years. Oh, so what's the, what, what's the recent single that you got out right now? Uh, Cold Summer is my newest single um, from the Cold Summer Project. Um, it just dropped uh, last week. Um, it's doing very, very well, and like it was, I was fucking crazy. I performed it last night, and people knew the words. So I was like, "Oh, we got one. that we is got one. lit." We got one. So, uh, so what would you consider your type of music? Everybody be asking me, and it's like they be wanting me to put myself in this genre, or compare myself to this artist and that artist, but I just be looking at it like my music is me. Like it's just authentic i feel like i just get to go in the studio and just use it as a diary or a therapy session for real for real and i feel like people relate to it so well because i'm just expressing like every single different emotion that i go through i don't really shy away from no emotion that i go through i take everything to the studio so nice nice so all of this music is authentic absolutely absolutely it'd be crazy as shit like my friends be laughing and shit like damn i can't believe you really said that shit in a song and shit like yeah i, I this is what it is you know we're just gonna put it all on the table but would you say that you got like a Baltimore swag or like, like what type of swag would you say you coming from or is it just kind of like your own, you in your own world? Man, like I try to like take little pieces of all different aspects of art and fashion and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Make it my own. So it's just like I've been in New York for years. I was in Baltimore for years. I was in Florida. So it's just like a culmination of everything that I've seen around America, I guess, in a sense. That's why I feel like everybody just seemed like they could relate to me and just be drawn to me in a sense. But my swag is just everything, like a melting pot in a sense. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. I could definitely see it, man. I like your energy, man. It's definitely official, man. So out of all the places you lived, what would you say influenced you the most? Because if you say you just say that you lived in New York, right? New York is heavy when it comes down to hip-hop, so... Once again, it'd it, it be crazy because, like, I performed at Webster Hall when it, when I was, like, just coming up. And I was just, like, completely blessed to be there. And I saw so many top-notch artists. And it's, like, the same in the New York and the same in Atlanta. Like, the, the competition is so fierce. Like, it's just top-notch quality competition. Even at an indie level, you feel what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, he got bars. He got bars. He got bars. He got bars. What I'm bringing to the table, I really got to come with it. And that's why I feel like everybody should be coming. This is a competitive-ass thing that we in with rap. So you got to bring it. That's- when, you say, when you say stuff like that, so do you feel as if artists coming from New York should move out of New York because it's so cutthroat? Because, like you said, it's a lot of people out there rappers, a lot of people out there who got bars and things like that. But you go to a different state, it's not as cutthroat. Like, you know, people is messing with you. You come to Atlanta, I know you kind of feel a different type of love in Atlanta. Well, I mean, I would say in New York now it's a new era, in a sense. You got your A Boogies, you got your various Dave Eases, you got your various artists with bars 
that's being successful mainstream now. So it's like, I feel like history repeats itself in a sense, like every different region in America got its time in this golden era with, with hip hop and music and what's going on. And it's just like other different parts of the world is just drawn to what's going on in that area right now. Yeah. And I feel like what New York is doing, they they turning the curve again. And it's just like they doing records with each other and everybody. You got your young and May who just did a great album. You feel what right. I'm saying? So it's just like I think they figuring it out in New York. Oh, so you was you was in New York in the era where people wasn't messing with each other at all when it came down to the whole. So you really know New York. We about to battle. Like, what do you what? We about to battle right now on the block. Yeah, so it's like. That's New York for you. Yes, but it also make you a great artist. So you prepare for the competition. Mm -hmm. You prepare when you get in the industry and a nigga send you a diss song. You prepare for that. Prepare for that. So it's just like, it's, it's, a, it's a give and a take with everything in the sense like, especially in New York, like, you're going to definitely see your bumps and your struggles in New York because you, you got niggas up there that's just straight up not playing like that's a fact that's a fact that's just how it goes that's a fact so um with the new music that you got coming out um do you have anybody featured like on this new project it's, it's interesting with this cold summer ep that i did i didn't want to go too feature heavy but the features that i did do i wanted to shed light on people in atlanta that i feel like wasn't getting a look but the talent is there. You Wait, me? sorry, sorry, I gotta, I gotta stop. You said people in Atlanta that's not getting a look. Yes. Yes. Atlanta right now is it's like a it's like a it's a sunshine state right now. Like it's everybody watching y'all. What you mean? What? It's always a diamond or two in the rough that just might have got overlooked. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I got hip to this little academy thing that was going on on Edgewood called the Playlist Academy or whatever. And it's like 10, 12 artists who like put on shows and they doing their own shows. Yeah. They buying the building, selling the tickets, getting the back end on their own. Doing everything from the ground up. From the ground up. That's I'm like, I got to go see the shit. I got to go see it. I got to go see what they doing. And I get there and it's top notch artists. And I'm like, how do I not know about this person? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do I not know about this person? It was crazy. So the promoter who put it all together, I'm like, what I got to do to be a part of this? I, I, I just got to be a part of this. I want to perform. Facts. He's like, come on, let's go right now. And they're like, it just, they started letting me come out week after week. And I started making connections with the artists. And then like, maybe like, I said like five, six weeks ago, I held a humongous session with like all of the artists in the Playlist Academy. Like I just wanted oh, all of them to come to the studio. I bought a studio time out. I told them all to come. Let's work. That must have been dope. Ma man, it was amazing. I probably got one of the best records that I ever created in my catalog now, and I got it in the stash, so I gotta hold on to that. Oh, so we ain't we ain't gonna talk about that right now. We gonna we gonna we gonna throw that under the rug. It's in there. Ah, you know that it's in there. yeah. When they come out, just know, and it's gonna be like. I remember he was talking about this, and he was saying, I got like six artists on the record, but it give me that Junior Mafia nostalgic feel where you got all of those different flavors on the record, That's and it's fine. all those different swags on the record, but it's a hit record. I can't wait for people to hear it. You feel what I'm saying? And it came out of Atlanta. See what I'm saying? So yeah, a beautiful thing. So this is exactly how we gonna end it. Yeah. Seven. Got a track under the rug right now that's gonna blow your fucking mind. We got a new... I got like 12 of them under the rug. That one... That Junior Mafia vibe. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yo, man, this is a solid brother, man. Yo, put your... Uh, Everybody, all of my social media, Sunday 7, that is S-V-N-D-A-Y 7 on all social media, Twitter, Instagram. I'll, you might find me on MySpace with Sunday 7 or something, but yeah, I'm everywhere on social media, Sunday 7, S-V-N-D-A-Y 7. Make sure you follow this man. Yes, sir. I, could, I could definitely say he's authentic. I could definitely say that his music is fire, like, and he out here making moves out here in Atlanta for AC3 Festival. Like I said before, my brother, thank you. Love. You're ready. Ah. Zero two six zero. Biggity bounds, biggity bounds, biggity, 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 biggity,